Hi, friend. I am putting on my house shoes to warm my toes. It's cold in here. I just woke up from a nap that I needed from earlier today. And child, I promise to God that when I feel led to go live and do other marketing things that are not even scheduled, I'm going to do it. Yes, Lord. How are you? Say hey when you come in the room. Hopefully I can see you. Hopefully you can hear me. My phone is on 50% because I have been filming all day. Hello, Coach Sheree Butler. How are you? So, um, I'm expecting my voice to go out any day now. I hope it doesn't. But I feel like the routine that I go through with my voice so as you know, maybe you don't know. Maybe you've been missing like somebody we just called out. I am filming a documentary back last year, at the end of the last year. <laughs> forgive me, I'll just look up. I won a filmmaking one-on-one -on -one contest with a film coach here in Atlanta. I had taken her class about two years ago, and she picked my name out the bunch to work with me because we knew each other had worked together before. And here we are in February. I got the call. They were ready to start the project and come to find out we would be complete with this same project by the end of this month. And I said, why y'all choose the shortest month of the year? It's cold here in Atlanta. And then I'm on a deadline. I have been super stressed. So if you see me with new gray hair, eventually, I got some up here towards the top. She slicked down because I permed my hair this morning. But uh, yeah, that's what it's from. Um, So we've been getting it done. And by we, I mean I. And she said that. She said, anytime I say we, I mean you. That means that I had to do the work. Y'all, I have cried. I have cussed. I ain't even gonna lie. Y'all some cussing Christians too. I know it. I know it. Let a few of them slip and had to immediately, Lord, forgive me. But you know exactly how I feel. I'm just a human and I couldn't find a word expressive enough to say how I was feeling. So I said those words and then I repented and I prayed and I cried some more and I did the work um, that it's going to take to get this film done. So we did about two weeks of pre-production where you plan, 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 plan. Write, 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 type, 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 learn, learn, learn. <laughs> read, 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 study, 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 research, research, research. And then turn around and do it again. So here we are in uh, phase two of three, which is uh, production, the actual filming. So if you follow my stories closely today, you may have seen some of the behind the scenes footage. Not all of it. I'm keeping some of it close to my chest for later. And you'll get to see it. Um, and so I had a couple spiritual moments. More tears flowed. The Holy Spirit really met me on site at my first location where I was glad I was by myself so that he and I could have that moment of just the culmination of the last two, two weeks. But not just that. This documentary is a mini doc that uh, explores my journey from homelessness to homeowner to $100,000 heir <laughs> in my coaching company. And I got caught up. I'm running on chamomile tea from Duncan. <laughs> and so, yeah, y'all. <coughs> Let me get my cover because I'm getting cold here. So y'all know I cough a little bit. Um. Who has seen my story? If you're here, say something, because I can't see um, other than Sheree, who has popped on with us. So, did you see my stories from earlier today? Let me know, <coughs> because we are back at it next week. But just to see what God has done by bringing this project my way. <coughs> Let me find a cough drop. And then me being able to use it as a platform for my pain, paying the platform. Sounds like my next coaching program, don't it? <coughs> Let me get a sip of drink. Mm-hmm. I've been talking. The beauty of this documentary that I've come to embrace is that it's all filmed from the same device you guys are talking to me on right now, which is my cell phone. At first, 
I had some thoughts and feelings about it. A part of me feels like I didn't read the fine print fine enough <laughs> or the fine print wasn't fine enough. And I was like, what? But after the day, don't tell my coach. I got it. <laughs> I realized the power of the device that we hold in our hands every day to tell our stories. And even platforms like this where we tell our stories makes what we do possible as filmmakers, as actors and actresses and directors and producers and cinematographers and writers and editors and assistants. By the way, shout out to my assistant, Janae. Hey, girl. She knows who she is. She came through for me today. She'll be on site for the movie premiere next month. Um, and many of you will get a chance to uh, attend our private virtual viewing of the premiere of my documentary. It's called Lady of Legacy. That has significance to the ladies of legacy that I coach to help them build their legacy, grow their legacy, and continue their legacy as black women Christian certified life coaches. So with me being the lead lady of legacy, it talks about my journey through what we call the five Bs of death, divorce, downsizing, dealing with homelessness, and dropping out of college, and how they tried to derail my destiny. And by they, figuratively personified and all the things English wise. Okay. So over the next two weeks, we will be in post production. I will finish filming next Saturday. I think I finished mostly today, um, but I have no way of knowing until I sit and look at all that beautiful bean footage that I was able to get today on my cell phone with my tripod. Didn't care who was looking, child. You couldn't tell me. Not a thing. Walking through these Atlanta streets with a camera and a tripod and permission through the same channels that mega movies that come here through Atlanta go through. I had to go through those same channels to uh, get permits, permission to be in certain places and film and let that, you know, uh, location show up in my movie. So that's been a learning process, a repeatable, teachable process. So I've had a couple requests to teach what I'm learning and child is so much, it's so much. I'm like, Lord. So um, one unexpected surprise that happened today was that um, my story fell into the hands of the right person who literally picked up my script um, and then requested me to email my script. And they are shopping it to a staff of video producers who want to take my work and make it even better. So while I thought I was finished, y'all, and wrapping it up, God said, daughter, there's more. I just had to get you going. Hey, God's got right the other these dicks are. I did it, girl. I cried on camera today, y'all. I said, Lord, do we edit that part out? But that's the part that the drama, like the slow-mo cry. But them was real tear. God met me today. Do you hear me? And I just had my moment. And I said, I usually laugh at people who get on camera and cry. I'm like, you couldn't wipe your tears for you hit regard. But child, the feeling that I felt literally on that stage today being recorded to tell my little old story at the same place it started. Y'all, I just had to let the tears flow. And I said, okay, this is raw footage. I got to record it. Forgive me, everybody I laughed at for crying on camera. Some of it do be dramatics and theatrics. And I get it. As a, as a new producer, <laughs> I get it. So I sent it to my friend and she was joning me out. Big old baby. I'm a worshiper, y'all. So I just had a moment with the Lord. Then that sun was just rising up. Have y'all ever just had a spiritual connection to the beginning of a day? I said, if I could do anything different about today, I would have got up there 45 minutes earlier where really nobody was at. And it would have just been me and Jesus for real, for real. We was out there, but we would have been out there, out there. 
The beauty is, now that I'm a known producer in the area, I can go back anytime I want. Ah! So I filmed. <laughs> I went and had breakfast at a place that I always ride by, but it was recommended on Google today. And, um, you know, people were looking like, who is this lady? Like, I just felt that presence. And I got some memorabilia so that I can remember this is where I had breakfast the day that I did my first independent film solo shoot by myself <laughs> on my camera phone in Atlanta by myself. And this is where it all began. And so I'm looking forward to putting that on my vision board. I loaded my car up this morning and my neighbors were heading out too. And they're like, oh, what you doing today? I was like, filming. That's all I said. They'll find out when they find out. I was like, y'all, I'm famous. Y'all just don't even do it yet. So <laughs> we were loading the cars together. I left everything I loaded in my car and came in here with a mission to finish my chamomile tea, which I did not, and to take a hard nap, okay? Because I was tired. Truth is, I was tired. My, my eyes are red on camera. I said, Lord, I might have to do that retake, okay? So y'all can ask me any questions you have. Um, yes, he will do it. He just came through. I love my uh, camera assistant today. She'll be on site um, here in Atlanta for the premiere. Um, she's already prepaid and ready to go. We're working on her calendar mid-March, my calendar. Um, I may be recruiting an editing team, or I may just go on and bring it on home with my <clears throat> editing skills that some of y'all get to witness on story time on my Facebook. You know? So feel free to ask me any questions. Um, I meet with my coach again. Um, hello, Dominique Minor. Are we cousins? My family is the Miners here in Atlanta. Um, so yeah, I'm doing editing this week. I meet with my coach on Monday, and then I think one more time this week, or just one time. I hope just one time, because we sickle each other. When I say sickle each other, we both sickle each other. But this project gonna be so good. Um, we both going to be proud of each other, or at least ourselves, <laughs> for pushing through. So this has been a learning experience that has opened my eyes. I have a newfound respect for actors. Like, the stuff we see behind the scenes or even on screen, it looks like they don't do much. And then they got the nerve to jump in a director's chair and out. Girl, like how? Why would you do that to your... This is a lot. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> coming in, maybe two weeks, two sessions into the project out of 12, I was like, I will never do that shot again. But God was like, uh, <clears throat> you will do it better. Uh huh. So, I've accepted that upgrade, that up level. It's time to level up, y'all. Let go. And I'm looking forward to what happens after. You know, like today feels good that day one of two of the shooting is complete. I did two sites today. I'm doing one site to wrap it up next weekend um, with my coach on site. So I won't be doing everything myself and guessing if I'm doing it right. Um, she's just going to yell at me and be like, where are your notes from? The so we'll wrap that up next weekend. And uh, it's a lot of fun, though. A lot of fun, a lot of hard work, it takes a lot of time. So um, I've seen a couple coaches dive into film and theatrics and um, a couple documentaries, a couple comedies. Um, I've actually watched some really bad movies about life coaching. <laughs> so I was like, you know, kind of keeping all that in the back of my mind as I'm pulling all this together. Um, but this is part of my story that some of it I tell, much of it God was releasing as I wrote, and all of it will be captured in a 10-minute documentary that I record myself on my cell phone. Um, I have some behind-the-scenes help uh, today, but this whole other time, Lord Jesus, it's been me and the Lord, and much prayer, <laughs> much, much prayer. So... Um, yeah, y'all know me. I'm gonna keep it real and honest. I ain't gonna say it's been like, oh, unicorns and rainbows and sprinkles. It has not. <laughs> but I know I'm gonna be proud of the finished project. Um, I already have my invite list for the premiere here in Atlanta. 
And we have a date in session for the virtual viewing that if you join my private Facebook group at futureblacklifecoaches.com, again, www.futureblacklifecoaches.com, you will get more details on the private viewing um, for the documentary. Um, we'll do that in April. So just make sure you're part of the group. I'll go ahead and drop it in the comments. If you have any questions for me, anybody, um, I'm happy to answer and chat. My neighbor is so funny. She's like, I need to go on and get your uh, uh, autograph real quick. I was like, if you don't go in the house right now. So <laughs> I love it. So this is behind the scenes. I told God that when I feel the spirit move to get on my hive or to do some unplanned marketing, you know, uh, assignment that I would do it. So this is that. So I just wanted to come on and, and jump in here with you guys and chat and let you ask questions if you have them. Um, maybe you know what it's like to be on film or behind the camera. Um, the only difference is I do it without a crew <laughs> and it makes it as much effort. But also just like when you become a content creator with these cameras and these camera phones, everything you see from the time you wake up, you're like, ooh, let me do it again. Or, ooh, that'll make a great scene. Just like today at my first site this morning, I was pulling into the parking garage and I was like, I want them stairs. I want that grass. I want them trees. I know where to do it. Like I had a whole scene planned in my head before I even parked my car. So this has taught me to be like alert. I can go film here. This will make a great backdrop for blah, blah, blah. So that's what I've been doing. So eventually, I will make my way back to my car, get my laptop, and upload all of the footage I was able to record and get started on some of the editing so that we can get this thing done so y'all can see it and enjoy it and it make a difference in your life. It has already made a difference in my destiny. Y'all know I believe in legacy and passing it down. Do y'all have any questions? Um, I see your comments. I'm going to make them bigger just in case I miss some because sometimes Facebook stops showing me. Hello, Coach Latosha. How are you? Coach Eric and I were just talking about you the other day. Dominique says, no questions, but congratulations to you. I'm motivated already. Thank you. Make sure you join our group. Uh, oh, let me pin it. Where is it? Uh, futureblacklifecoaches.com is pinned in the comments um, because... My coaches, those that are on here, Coach Corinthia, Coach Latasha, we'll have some that watch the replay. Um, they'll pop on and off. Coach Sheree was on with us as well. Um, they are the reason that I do this. Like, I literally got up this morning and I was like, I'm about to go do this for my coaches. Like, God has really helped me to see that this project and this journey is not about me. It's not about how frustrating this process has been. It's about my coaches, those who have trust me to come train and certify with me, those who I've had a chance to chat with and build relationships and check in with all throughout their time of being certified, those that are to come. You know, it's people on the other side of this sitting there with their credit card in their hand and they're ready to click, click. But they're like, am I ready? Can I really do this? And I literally, in my description of my documentary, said the purpose of the documentary was for me to tell my story so that other black women of faith can tell theirs. So did y'all know? I just discovered this. I was so thankful for this homework assignment for this film. <clears throat> Had to find a statistic about life coaching. And black women make up less than 9% of the life coaching industry. So, man, 9%. Women make up uh, about 67.5%, but that means majority white, and about 13% of that was uh, from Latina um, women. And we have one Latina coach that I've trained um, in our online program. A couple have trained with me live in the class, but mostly it's been white men, black men, um, and just a mixture but we only make up less than 9% as African-American women. And I think it is ridiculous because 100% of people in and out of our community 
can use our services as a coach, someone to sit and listen and ask you really good questions that help you, you know, fill in the blanks of your life so that they can go take action and get results in their life. So I'm thankful for this coaching journey, pulling that out of me saying, you know, what's the purpose of telling this story or what's your goal with this film or, you know, who are the ladies that you're really making this film for? And again, I had to take myself out of it and put the ladies who are ready to tell their stories, ready to make an impact, know that they're called to coach. I had to put y'all front of mind because not only do y'all come get certified with me, but y'all tell other people. Many of our coaches have gotten certified because they heard about us through the grapevine. And because I am the only black woman of faith with a master's, doctorate, degree in training and development, have served four years prior to coming on the scene, training and certifying, doing my research, getting focus groups together, writing books about it, attending workshops, events, conferences, etc. I talk about all this in the film. Um, we are a rare breed. And even at 9%, it's time to show up, y'all. It's time to step out. You can't continue to hide when that percentage is so small. So I'm trying to help us get to at least 10%. I can only do so much alone. But when we join forces, as Coach Vanessa says, we walk heavy, especially as women of God. So this is just super exciting and super necessary. So I thank all of you guys who have watched my lives, who have told people about me, who have shown up and trained with me, who have got on my nerves, who have let me get on your nerves. I'm going to keep getting on your nerves and you too, <laughs> who are active in our Facebook groups and show up to our events and purchase our books and um, open our emails and just attend, just show up. You know, I'm showing up for you so that you can show up for others. And sometimes that's what we need to give ourselves permission to move forward. And that's what this documentary is about. Hello, Latosha. She says good evening. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> any questions? I am here to answer the questions. I really didn't think I would have a voice when I woke up, but God is good. Won't he do it? <laughs> yes, he will. And so, uh, yeah, I'm still on a high, still excited. Um, we're going to ride this thing on home. Uh, I know we'll receive at least one award from this film. And I know greater things are coming, especially for me being the leader of the Lady of Legacy. And uh, for my ladies of legacy, y'all just get ready, get ready, get ready. Because y'all in here too, y'all just don't know it yet, okay? So... If you haven't signed up to train and certify with me before now, don't worry. Your time is coming. This film is dedicated to what we call the original 100. And those are the first 100 black women of faith who raised their hand and trained with me since the top of 2020 and have come online and either trained live with me on a Zoom call or taken our home study version of our life coach certification training. They are featured in the film. They're featured. Uh, we got some after party footage that I'll be showing. And um, there is more to come because 100 is the foundation, honey. We had to come in and set the foundation. Now we are ready to grow and expand. I prayed about the abundance and the overflow on today. So I know within the next few days alone, we'll have several coaches sign up to come join us. Excuse me, if you're watching this and you haven't done your homework, what you waiting on? I ain't got the energy to yell at you. I've been in most of y'all's inbox this weekend, though. In between scenes, I've been in y'all. Hey, girl! Yelling on the voicemail and everything. Are there any questions? I love that my journey is motivating you guys. Um, and please believe there are, are so many others that have paved the way before me. And I'm, I'm following in their footsteps. Like, using their success as a model. Like, I really like how she did this. Or... Ooh, I like her, blah, 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 you know, and just being inspired by other people's journey. That's what it's about, because some of you guys will never know those that I know. And, you know, you guys, as they say, to someone, you are the world. So in my little neck of the world, I am that Oprah. I am that show up person. I am that model of success. I am that picture of possibility. And I'm more than OK with it. So. Come on, y'all, it's time. Hey, Marilyn, how are you? Are there any questions? Let me know. Get a little 
chamomile tea. I need to hurry up. I was like, I should have got even a half. I should have got a child size because it be taking me too long. Are there any questions? I'm happy to answer. If not, I'll go ahead and wrap up. But I just wanted to come spend some time with you. Girl, do you really want to know? Marilyn, that's a bold Ooh, question. <laughs> so last year when I won the filmmaking contest, it came with a gift basket. And in the gift basket was a book that the film coach had written. And um, I glanced through it. A lot of it looked familiar because I had already taken her class. Um, so a lot of it came as a refresher out of the book, relearning stuff I forgot because I took the class two years ago. So most of it came out of the book. Um, but then it was a lot that's not in the book. Um, templates of things like, you know, how to get permission to be on site to film. Um, how to write something called a treatment where if you were to get a million dollars to do this film with a Hollywood crew, what would you tell people about this story to get them on board to financially back you? And it's funny because I've watched documentaries about getting funding for documentaries and it all became clear. Um, we set goals throughout the, or at the beginning of our time together. Um, my biggest assignment was taking notes during our call because, um, you know, trying to learn, trying to record, trying to type. And those are due after all of my sessions because this is being developed into something bigger. Um, I'm trying to think. We did goals. We did treatments. We did um, something called Writer's Duet. It's a um, program online that helps you kind of write a script. Um, a big assignment, too, was writing a screenplay, but not in the traditional sense that you think. It's more of, um, it's like a play. Like, I've, I've literally seen Tyler Perry's uh, version of this when he was making like four shows at once, he showed all the screenplays stacked on the table. Um, and his studios are right down the street. So that's my motivation too. Like, okay, Tyler, you know. Um, so this is the bootleg version of what Tyler was dreaming about when he was living in his van about to become Mundial. Okay. So, <laughs> but we just doing it on the next level because it's on our cell phone. Um, I had to practice 10 different shots um, just like any, uh, film that you watch, the hero's journey is the same. You know, you meet the character, you hear what they really want, like peace on earth. And then they come into battle with someone there. There's like an arch nemesis or a protagonist, antagonist. Um, the main character wins, saves the world. Like that's the plot of the hero, hero's journey for every movie. So, um, with this, with the shots, there are similar shots. You could tell if you, now you, you know how like, once you experience something, you're gonna see it from a different lens, literally. Um, I will now be able to recognize the different shots, 10 different shots, nine different shots. I forgot how many it is, but making sure that you get those in. Hello, Cynthia Custer, how are you? Um, today we did camera movements. So when you see like, you know, a camera pan in or a drone fly in or, you know, this is by no means a big production because I didn't have a drone. It would have been awesome if I had a drone today. Um, so the different camera shots, um, shot types, writing a storyboard. So imagine um, like a comic strip, but you're writing it by hand and you can only draw stick figures. <laughs> so we're all little stick figures. <laughs> screen telling this story um writing your story which is where most people never make it past like I have a friend who really wants to do this with uh my next version of this with the bigger studio but I guarantee she will not sit and write her story without me right there and I probably can't go through this with her <laughs> so she might make it I don't know um, but that's the hardest part and for me, not just writing my story, but I usually tell my story, but I do it in a way where I have an hour to do it. This entire documentary is 10 minutes long. So imagine going through so much that got you here, but you have to pick the highlights and then you have to pick the highlights of those highlights. 
and then summarize those highlights. And instead of giving up what had happened was, you just got to be like, I was homeless. Then I became a homeowner. Now I'm a hundred thousand dollar heir. Oh, the three H's of success. Like that's how they're looking at that. And I'm like, but it took me 15 years. To get it. So that was one of the longest parts of the homework. So that's just a few of the assignments on top of my head. It was so many more. So many more. So many more. And we're not even done. Um, but I now have a portfolio for this process. And so it will also go before a committee who will review my homework and um, see how I got to the final product of the film. Um, I'm thankful that I'm not in the film industry, so I'm not worried about, you know, film critics or, you know, Rotten Tomatoes or blah, blah. I don't care about none of that. <laughs> I just needed a film to show my people for when I do uh, virtual and live events. And I had one that was created a couple years ago, but it was time to tell more of that story. And then who knows, by the time we uh, do the contract with the bigger studio, it may be a full-on film because I'll have a crew. Um, I'm introverted. I don't know if you guys know that. So this is fine talking to you guys because I know when I hit finish, y'all going to go about your business. Me too. I probably go back to sleep. But in being filmed with literally a camera right here and they're getting every angle you know, and every roll going to show, every piece of lint on your clothes going to show. And you still got to say your lines and be natural. Like nobody's in the room and they're filming you and you got to act and you got to talk and most of it won't get in the script. And yeah, that's a whole production. And that's why I'm tired. Okay. Hello, Coach Brenda Allen and Callie. How are you? So, yes, it's a whole new world, even with a mini docu-series. Um, I know that editing, editing is going to be fun. So I was so thankful for today with me being the only one on site for my first filming site and having my moment with Jesus, tears flowing. But also, I didn't have to talk. Today was just, you know, you see these movies where there's the dramatic stare off into the sky. And I really got into like silent actor, actress, Mr. Bean type. Yeah, because I didn't have to talk. I just had to, you know, convey the message of the scene with my, my movements, my body language. And I did a great job. <laughs> I do say so myself. So thank you for your question about what was the homework. That's just a glimpse into it and the fact that we're taking what was originally uh, said and designed to be a 12-week process, we're doing it in four weeks from a cell phone by myself. <laughs> and I believe that I am being so productive and successful in this process because I didn't just start this process. I've been telling my story. Um, so where people would, you know, sit around a, a boardroom table and come up with brainstorming ideas. I already had the, the story written. I just had to, um, trim some of it off and put it in the form of a script, put it in the form of a screenplay, um, explain it to people as to why I tell it. Um, and once my coach was inspired, she fell in love with the name. It's called Lady of Legacy and Legacy is an acronym. My legacies are on here. They know what it means. I talk about it more in the documentary. Um, but to be able to take my pain and use it as my platform, you know, it's amazing. And that's what brought tears to my eyes. The fact that the same, um, community and neighborhood where I was homeless about 15 years ago, is the first place I chose to go film today. And so when the Holy Spirit met me there, that's when it hit. Like, girl, if you only knew then what you know now. But imagine what I don't know now, you know? So it's so exciting. It's bringing tears to my eyes now. So yeah, that's a little bit about the, the journey, um, some of the assignments. And again, we are only like three weeks into a four-week process. So I'll spend the next week and a couple days wrapping up the, uh, what we call production, which is the filming and then getting in, getting into some editing. I'm going to do as much as I can. And then I'm going to hire somebody because this ain't going to drive me crazy because this isn't what I do, um, professionally. But like I said, I don't have a problem with being on camera. So 
I'm not the super dramatic type. Like my friend was like, I read her my story and she was like, but read it like, like she's very dramatic. Like she could read you any book and you'd be like, oh my God, then what happened? I'm like, girl, I am not you. I'm going to tell my story how I usually tell it because it's me and you still going to cry. Okay. That's the point to make her cry. It don't take a lot to make her cry. So we did that. Any other questions? I'm happy to answer. Anybody else have a question? Thank y'all for interacting and showing up and listening. I'll leave this up because I know other people are going to want to hear. What is it like? You know. Say, hey, when you come in the room, I'm going to find another cow drop and soothe my throat. You are welcome, Marilyn. Thank you. So this is a side of coaching, of speaking, of being an author. I know we have a whole PR plan set up for afterwards um, that you guys will get to witness. Some of you will be a part of it. Just saying. So exciting. I be acting. When y'all see me real chill, be like, oh, she is up to something. I don't show my emotions uh, on camera. But I be screaming inside. <laughs> so we got a lot of fun things coming up. That's why I want to make it to post-production. Um, a couple of people. Oh, my gosh. I have a white cough drop. I've never seen a white cough drop. Okay. What's the Walgreens brand? I thought it was going to be lemon flavor. I don't know what this tastes like. Anyway, I'm cold, y'all. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we got a lot of fun stuff that comes after this. So, my goal since the beginning of the month is just make it to the end of the month. Because I know I could do the work. It's not the work that, even though it's a lot of work, it's not the work that was hard. It's just um, grasping how this was all going to come together. And so, today was kind of like um, a little sparkle into the future plans for this project so I'm so excited this is so exciting <laughs> I know I'm like cool calm and collected but yeah any other questions I am happy to answer I appreciate y'all jumping on saying hello engaging if you're curious as to the final product you want to see how it comes out and you're interested in becoming one of our ladies of legacy check out futureblacklifecoaches.com it's pinned in the comments Again, futureblacklifecoaches.com. That is our private Facebook group, our private coaching community, where I share little nuggets. You want to be in the place to be if you want to get more information and the details about attending the private virtual viewing of this film um, in April. April is our anniversary. Well, it's my anniversary of getting certified as a coach nine years ago. So we'll definitely be showing the film in celebration of my nine year anniversary as a certified life coach. And then uh, we are two years old as a company online, but I've been training in certified coaches since 2016, been a coach since 2013. And now we have almost 200 coaches that have trained with me personally. And I am getting some of the best voicemails now of my coaches are making money and securing their clients. Um, one of our coaches today said, I just got my first client today. So I feel like our prayers are working. All of this hard work is paying off and it's so much more to come. It's so exciting. And as Kevin Hart says, so excited. So that's what we are. We're so excited. Any other questions? Let me know. If not, I will wrap up. I just wanted to come and uh, say hey to y'all. And uh, I've had a nap. <laughs> so that means I got a little energy. I'm going to go find some food. I usually uh, eat soup as tradition after I'm on camera a while. Whether I'm hosting a training or a workshop or even Facebook Lives that go long. I have something hot to drink. That was my chamomile tea from Dunkin'. And then I have um, a soup. And so I have like a tomato bisque. I have a um, what else? Uh, broccoli cheddar. But I'm also thinking about some red lobster cheddar bay biscuits because I had them earlier this week. And they got these things called crispy Brussels sprouts. That was so good. 
they, I don't know how they cooked them, but look, I've never tasted Brussels sprouts like that. And then I had broccoli Alfredo. But I have a sensitive stomach too, so I have to be mindful. <laughs> so I'm trying to determine if I'm going to keep with my soup regimen, which I probably will because I don't have to leave the house to get that. Maybe we'll do Red Lobster later in the week or next week. Any other questions before I go? Have you guys watched my stories today? Y'all better hurry up. They disappear in 24 hours. Um, but I have been sharing my progress here on my page on Facebook as well. And like little behind the scenes. Because there's a type of documentary where you talk about what it was like creating the documentary. And I was like, it makes sense to do that as I go along. So. I've been doing that for you guys as well. And I will definitely keep you posted to the end and beyond. So we'll see. So I don't see any questions. Let me scroll to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Make sure you click the link, futureblacklifecoaches.com. Join our free Facebook group, our community for coaches. Um... And I don't see any more shouts out to my coaches, the ladies of legacy that have been on here with me live. Those of you who are watching the replay, tag a legacy, tag somebody who is ready to get in coaching. Because like I said, y'all know people and my coaches have sent the most people to our training. Coach Brenda says, congratulate and thank you, Coach Brenda. Congratulations to you. You know what I'm talking about, girl. So until we meet again, my friends, remember there is someone somewhere, child. They waiting on you <laughs> to walk in your destiny so they can walk into theirs. Because it's when you let your own light shine, you give others permission to do the same. And as I am showing you, in this documentary, behind the scenes, and in front of the camera, when you impact just one life, you impact generations. Y'all ready? I'm ready. If you have questions and you're watching this on the replay or you're typing right now and I was talking too fast or Facebook cut us off too soon, tag me in the comments below this video. I'm happy to come chat with you, whether you are watching here on Facebook, maybe you're catching this on YouTube, Talk to me in the comments. I talk back, okay? I will probably share this on my podcast as well. Y'all stay tuned. Make sure those notifications are on because I share what I know. I've been called Harriet Tubman of the industry because I'll go see how to get free and come back and get my people. So be gettable when I come back, okay? I will see y'all later. Have a phenomenal rest of your day. God bless. Bye. Either future Black Life Coaches, Brenda, or Coaches. Y'all already on here. Uh, Corinthia and Sheree and the crew. Ladies of Legacy, I love you. Facebook livers, I am so thankful for you. Till we meet again, I'll see y'all soon. Have a phenomenal rest of your night. God bless. Bye, y'all.